Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Last time we got pants for Link since he wasn't wearing them the whole episode. I don't know. Some people. But anyway, this time, we're gonna be looking at a few side quests we picked up last time. So, starting off, we have... Oh my goodness, we're all the way down here. The Giant of Rayless Pond. Which is in this direction, I believe. Just need to cross this bridge and start heading that way. And then we'll figure that all out. It's very nice having the full Zora outfit so, so we can move faster in water. Anyway, there's a silver shield here. And I'm assuming a silver sword. Or a Zora sword, okay, fine. Be that way. Silver shield, a Zora made shield, adorned with int intricate, intricate, or, 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 ah, my goodness, tired. Ornamentation. It's said that true masters of this shield can redirect attacks as a rock uh, redirects rushing water. Zora sword, the orientation, ornamentation that adorns this blade is a traditional Zora design. It's forged from a very durable and lust and rust whoa my goodness. Whoa, that's too far. Rust proof metal. I am just my mouth is just failing to produce the words the way that the words are words. And I apologize in advance because it's only gonna get worse. Now, Muzu was also mentioned for one of the quests for, um, which one was it? Where is it? Oh, it's a ceremonial song. Oh, Link, he would see my misunderstood hardians before. You don't have any fins or gills, yet you still manage to stop the Divine Beast. I should have expected as mu much from Lady Mifa's beloved. Well done. I hope you can find it in your heart to forgive an incom incompetent fool such as me. As long as you can forgive a fool such as me. Just just a regular kind of fool. Are you not the person I was meant to talk to? I guess not, okay. I think it's this person over here. Let me just double check what the thing says. Trello, yeah, I'm just wrong, okay. It's not bad to admit you're wrong once in a while. I knew you were the same Link from 100 years ago. You did a fine job this time. May Lady Mifa's spirit live on within all of us. Now then, I must diverse a plan to find the Ceremonial Trident. Trident. What do you, what do you, what do you, what do you mean? The Ceremonial Trident is used in a festival to honor Champion Mifa. The Champion Festival's Light Scale Trident. Well, it's a fake. I plan to have the cer that ceremonial trident examined by Dento, but on the way there I dropped it off the bridge. It doesn't really matter, it's a fake after all. I'll have to ask Dento to make a new one. If someone happens to pick it up, they can just keep it. Well, since I'm sure a lot of people have had a lot of trouble or had a bit of trouble figuring out what bridge he's talking about and where it is. I'm just going to show it now since I also had a bit of trouble with it. So, if we bring out our Magnesis, it's that one right there. I'm, I'm sure I'm not the only per- I'm definitely sure I'm not the only person who's had trouble finding this. So, let me just get up here. And then, are those fish I have before? No, I have not got these. Some of Stamina- No, the, the best, that one. Okay. Now, can I reach the thing from here? Probably, yes. Let's just hopefully not get it into a bad spot like that, and then... Oh my goodness. Please. Please. I just need to be careful not to drop it off as well. Okay, cancel. And let's take a picture since this is a special. It's different from the other one. It looks like the light scale trident, but it's a ceremonial trident. That's, that's, this is what, how it is, so. Just gonna save that. 
Ceremonial Trident, a spear modelled after the light scale trident, wielded by the Zora champion Mipha. They may be identical in appearance, but this smith's spear's strength and durability are inferior. I need to throw something away. I think it's going to be something that I really don't need, like a big sword blade thing. I mean, they're good, but... I don't know, I might get rid of this soldier's claymore. Okay. Now let's switch off with that so we don't... This is going to get so confusing with those right next to each other. So we don't accidentally break that. There's also just a lot of stuff down here that we don't actually need. Like, I'm pretty sure there's quite a few... There's a, there's a, I, I'm, I'm like, where is it? I'm sure there's a lot of stuff down here that you can just get as well. Just in the water or around it. Yeah, there's that there. But I really don't need any of it, so I'm just gonna skip that and go over here. Since there's a chest over here. Which I think I know what's inside of it. I think. Okay. A silver rupee? That was double what I thought it was. But basically, I remember more than I realize sometimes. Let me try to get over to this waterfall, please. 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 Let's just swim up that. And there we go. Oh, get over there, please. Oh, my goodness, that was close. Anyway. Let me bring that out. No, not that. That. This D-pad is not always the, how I want it to be. Hey, look what I got. It's you! What, is that you're holding? It, it is, most certainly the ceremonial trident. Oh, well go ahead and keep it. Well, what do you want? I think that's everything he has to say, so... Oh, he was just also talking about kids who love songs. Can you... Can you please repeat that so I'm not just skipping text and talk about it? Ceremony Trident, okay, okay, then keep it. Ceremony Trident. Trident you're holding is in addition to being... In addition to its combat use, it has the same power as the Light Scale Trident. Originally, the Light Scale Trident uh, was meant to lead the hero to, the, to a trial. At least according to legend. I believe the Champion's Festival Song lyrics mention this. If you find a child who loves songs... He or she might know. Know it. Okay. We're not going to have a look at that just yet because I want to have a look at that Hinox first. Since I said I was going to do that first. Oh, I missed. How I was right in front of me and I missed. Anyway. A bit of a different area over here. Still connected. But I believe this is the way I need to go to get to the, the Hinox. Oh, it's actually a fair way away. Oh my goodness. I think this is a path that I can take over here. Probably. Although I, while I'm here, I guess I could actually just do the other one. So. A gift from the sky, a scale of light, splits the feet at a veiled false sight. Your trial awaits, it's gl growing, glowing bright. Trello accidentally dropped the ceremony trident in the ceremony of the bridge. If you find the spear to recreate the actions from the song, a new trial may open. Okay, so. Once we get over here, we can see a platform over there, which is very Sheikon esque. So, this is where we need to be for that. And to do that, we are. Uh, have to do it very this very this is very specific for some reason so what we need to do is not just stand up here and like throw it at it swing it around or like jump attack with it what we need to do is actually swim upward here so we get high enough we don't technically need to go up the waterfall for this but we just need to get high enough for it and then once we're up in the air we need to aim just right over the top of it and then drop and press the attack button to... No, that's not it. Ah, oh, well, there's Mipha's Grace for the first time. That's not going to work a second time, though. Okay, let me try that again. Since I absolutely failed that. Can I cancel out of this? No, I cannot. 
I can just jump though. It looks really weird. Okay, how about if we press X again? No. A. I'm like super sure. Oh my goodness, I died. How do I do this? I'm, I've done this not that long ago. Like, the action that I need to do. It's, it's so specific, it's just annoying. There's a specific um, attack you can do with spear weapons when you're falling, which shoot, makes you stab the ground, and you need to do that onto the platform. I'm all the way over here, where I got that chest. All the way over here. Why? I think there's a chest over there. Oh well. I'm just gonna leave that for now. I don't really need it. Since it's just a chest. Yeah, let me... Like that! I still have the trident, right? Just... just... yeah, I do. And it has to be the ceremonial trident, I'm pretty sure. Unless it's the trident... No, it... It says the trident of light. Or... Something like that. But the ceremony of Trident is the, the 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 one because it looks like it. So it, the I really hope I'm not wrong about this. I just need to also get. I think you have to hit the attack button when you're closer to the to, closer to the ground. I think that's how that works. So anyway, this is taking a lot longer than I really would have hoped. If I could be better at this, that'd be good. Okay. Let's just swim closer and swim upward. We haven't got a lot of stamina, but it should be fine. Okay. Here we go. Let me just make sure I'm lined up correctly. Looks good. Nope, too early. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna die again. I'm gonna definitely die again. I wish I didn't have to jump from this high up. Yeah, let me angle it differently so I can actually see where I'm going. And also see how high up I am. Okay. Good over here. Maybe I have to just break out of the glide straight away. I missed. Of course I missed. I would expect nothing else. Ah! Come on. Please. Please, I beg you. Okay, this is looking good, this is looking good, this is looking good, this is looking good, this is looking good. Wind, stop blowing me around. Does that count? No. Oh my goodness. This is very specific. And it's very hard to aim just how I want to. Okay, please, 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 please. There we go. Oh my goodness. If I haven't mentioned, well, I guess now I can explain it now that the shrines appeared. Platforms like these, which are like the ones where you can put the orb in the middle. Well, I guess we haven't really done that, but I guess it's kind of like others we've seen. Uh, ones like this, but you can't put the, an orb in the middle. Uh, activate, activate a shrine with a special requirement. So it's very different from other things, but it's, yeah, it's very special, I guess. Okay, well anyway, let's go have a look at this shrine since we've activated it now. And I guess I can mark another one off my list. Also on the loading screen we now have, uh, Divine Beast Varuta just hopping along.
Daga Geek's Blessing. So these are going to be a regular thing, basically, from this point on. Where there are a lot of shrines, I don't know how many there are, but there's a, there's a fair bit of these shrines. Where all of these is just a chest and the end, so... It's usually after doing something in the overworld that's a bit more challenging to get the shrine to appear, so... Silver Rupee, very nice. And yeah, that's just how these blessings go. Okay. Well, now that that's done, we don't really need the trident anymore, but I'm going to keep it anyway. And let's head up in this direction to find the Henox. We haven't seen the Henox before, so this is going to be somewhat, somewhat of a learning experience for people, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just playing the video game. Trying to do my best. It's not that bad. There's some luminous stone over there. I need a little bit more of that. I believe there's quite a few uh, luminous stone deposits around the edges on top of these mountains areas, so if you can get on top of them and look around, you, you can probably find some fairly quickly. Oh, we can hear something. Oh, and this is not what I was expecting at this point, because this is not just a Hinox, but it's actually a blue Hinox, so we've actually skipped a level of learning and have upped the difficulty curve by a fair bit. So, let's take a picture of this since we're not going to have much op opportunity otherwise. Now, I'm going to save so I don't lose my progress. Nope, save, please. Okay. I don't know what I should do. wish this was like other things where I could freeze you and then good things would happen. Um... Oh, is that? I hear that sound. No, okay. And I just think it's a blood moon every time I hear that sound. Okay, well. Let's give him a wake up call. And I should have waited for my. Oh! Oh! That was just him waking up, kicking me in the face while doing so. Oh my goodness. This is not gonna end well. I can already tell. But I have. Abilities on my side like shooting you in the face. He's got a lot of health. Oh my goodness. And he's getting close very quickly. If you can just outrun him, you can use uh, bombs to blow him up because he follows you and you can get him into the last. But it takes a while. So instead, if I can actually change my stuff around, equip that and equip that. I might actually switch over to that since that's got more damage. Oh my goodness. Run away. If you can hit him in the eye, he will get stunned for a bit, but it won't last long. Oh my goodness. Okay, please, 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 please. Bombs are... Bomb arrows are pretty good. Not perfect, but still pretty good. I've stunned him, so let's do some good damage, and I might actually... Get out my stronger weapon so I can do that with a lot more impact. Okay, just run, just run, just run, just run. Basically, you just want to stun him and then go after him. He's cleverly blocking his eye to not to get hit. So it's learning, I guess. Come on. Should be able to shoot through the cracks a little bit. Oh my goodness. You're terrifying. And huge. Okay. Oh, climb over the rock since he can't go over it very well. Hinoxes are a bit of a challenge, especially at this point in the game. Luckily, I've got lots of arrows to just shoot him with. Maybe even throw some bombs at him. Oh, please. His elbow is badly damaged, but he's almost dead. And there we go. 
a first Hinox, which was the blue one, so it was a bit more difficult than a, a red one, which is what they normally are like. Roasted Trout! Great! That was inside his stomach. Also... Hinox Toenail! A nail obtained from a Hinox! Aye. It's, a, it's as thick as a plate of armor and can be stewed with critters to make elixirs. You're gonna drink that later, Link. Whether you like it or not, you will drink it. Take a picture of that. These weapons were just hanging around his neck on a, a rope or something. That's where they came from. Hinox Tooth! A tooth obtained from a Hinox! It's so large. It's hard to believe it's a real tooth. It can be uh, used to make elixirs. <laughs> I... Oh, well, it's about to get worse. Hinox Guts! Uh, 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 a giant smelly Hinox organ. Great, smelly. Of unknown function. Upon close inspection, it appears to be quivering. Ah! It can be used to make an elixir, but some say it has other uses as well. I don't know what those other uses are. Rested carp. Well, there we go. Let's return back to the domain now to get my reward, and it better be a good reward because that was just not pleasant. I think I've already taken pictures of those. Anyway, let's go. Okay, let's find the person who asked me to do this quest. I'm pretty sure it's the person who was over by the, like, pool area. So let's go up this way and do that. And I still need a few more luminous stones. Yeah. It's uh, worth the reward though, so... Since I actually know what the reward is. I guess it's kind of... I think it's probably... I think it's worth it. Anyway. Ooh. Hmm? Mm -hmm. That stench. Did you perhaps defeat the Hinox at Rallis Pond? I did, but it's gonna be back whenever the next Blood Moon comes around and then you're gonna pay me again. What? You really did? I just, I can't. Wow. So thank you, really. Mm. I knew it. The champion who saved the domain is in a whole other league. Please take this. Consider it a small token of my immense gratitude. Get a silver rupee. I guess you beat me to dealing with the, that Hinox. I really want to get stronger. Okay. Well, there we go. That cleans that up nicely. Just some more Zoras just relaxing in the pools. But anyway, with that, that's pretty much almost everything around here. So, we've got, like, one more thing left to do, and then we'll m move on, so. But anyway, that is it for this episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, so thank you for watching, and I'll see you all next time.